Hello and welcome to Patched, I'm your host Paul James and I'm again joined by Jay Parnas. He's ready to sign off already. A salute. Already. See you next week. <laughs> uh, so Fuck everything, we're burn into, it all down. <laughs> yeah. So we're into our patched updates for the month and Jay, you can kick it off because I have one game to talk about what he was that, playing. Fucking lots of Overwatch. <laughs> lots and lots of There's Overwatch. There's new stuff in there. Um, last um, month we spoke about the things that were coming, some of those things have now arrived, right? Yeah, so, so uh, I see, guess... What's it like? Uh, Doomfist has been, just come out, I don't remember if that was out at the time of last recording. So. Um, and he was for quite a while a real shit show because he had like his his hitbox stuff was was, was fucked up. He could just one hit kill you from. And so everyone was playing as Doomfist for a while. Uh, oh no, mm, he's pretty, pretty tough to keep. You have to get the. I don't know. Is you kind of got to jump in, kill people, and then jump out again. But oh, yeah, um, okay. the problem was that like he could be punching over here, and he would you would be here and he would hit you and still kill you oh um or yeah. like he could be flying over the top of you by like two meters and you would still cop it and get killed and it was yeah it was a real rough time um but they've they've since done away with that um they had the summer games event so last year the That's summer the games all looks really olympics-y right so yeah last year they did it for the olympics this year they kind of moved away a little bit from the olympics and just kind of went with like beach stuff yeah. um because obviously it's american summer yeah um and there so, was a little thing that popped up involving our fair country with a new map that got thrown in there yes there was a sign that said T- uh, take, take out take yeah and somehow it became a controversy just because we call it take away that like, changed it they yeah, changed, they've they've changed, they changed like it last, that day yeah. like that when not like how why are we making so Oh, because look, they just—it's—it's it's more. It's a simple thing. Like if someone was going, "Hey, we call it." Take that was pretty much the hap. That was like I think I think you may have there was a, I might have stumbled into some horrible, crappy communities then on the perhaps yeah, because I mean, look, it it was fairly quickly addressed. Um, I think it was just a furor that happened after it had already been addressed. So I, I don't, I didn't see a, a whole bunch of the issues with that. But basically, um, yeah. So they did their, their summer game stuff where they had the Lucio Ball soccer. Um, who's one of the characters you can like no I remember that one he boops stuff yeah um, they put out some new skins uh, one that I think you would probably uh, be in love with Junkrat one of my favourite characters got a cricket skin good um, where his wooden leg is actually part cricket bat good and uh, his little grenades are cricket balls are all the skins that are attached to this event free or do you have to still unlock them uh, you, you have to unlock them chests you, you, have you, do, you have to unlock them through loot chests uh, you can obviously buy the loot chests but uh you do get an increased legendary are drop rate. Chests or are they loot boxes? I'm, I'm, <sighs> loot, they're loot. They're called loot boxes. I'm, I'm used to Borderlands loot chests, so I'd yeah, it doesn't matter. Like it's it's whatever loot, vernacular loot you things. want. Yeah, um, drop boxes, like fucking whatever you want to call it, doesn't really matter. Um, but the circumstances, yeah. That, but during those events, they have a higher like you've got a higher rate of getting legendary, so that you can get a pretty good run of that. Yeah. Uh, and they recently did change it so that you get significantly less duplicates because duplicates used to give you five coins yeah and it would cost you a thousand coins to b- purchase a regular legendary skin oh, yeah, and yeah. three thousand coins to purchase an event skin while it was active so that's a, like it's a lot um and very little return if you got that's that. right and so um with that it's a lot easier if you've unlocked a lot of shit during that event to, to get, get a couple that you still need or whatever yeah uh, and they also brought out the ones from last year's event at regular prices. So, like I said, a three thousand for a legendary skin, uh, whereas a regular one is a thousand. The legendary ones from last year were at a thousand. Good. So you could buy them. Nice Doing some cheap. good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah they did. Um, so I was able to pick up some of the cheaper stuff <coughs> at a ridiculous, really cheap price with because I had a shitload of gold coins, yeah. whatever. Um, so I was able to pick up the American McCree skin, which is pretty good. He has like an like an American flag poncho and a Stars and Stripes gun, and USA as a belt buckle oh, instead really? of uh, Banff, yeah, which okay. is his normal and shit like that. And um, yeah, just 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 some cool voice lines and stuff like that. Uh, I did walk away with the Junkrat skin, got it in one of the boxes, which was good. Um, and uh, one of the poster boy characters, Soldier Seventy Six, is Grillmaster Seventy Six, wearing a Hawaiian shirt and. Uh, like drops soda cans to the health packs and you know oh yeah okay has a barbecue based gun 
it's yeah they, they they kind of leaned into it really hard and it was good fun um how long is this little event continue? uh that's it is now sorry to kind of date the episode but it is over um oh, it okay. went for i guess the pretty much the duration of august all right so cool. about a three to three and a half week event yep um they also brought a competitive version of lucio ball um like that's in the same sort of ballpark as their like competitive uh, like normal five or six v six mode. Now I hear that they plan on so, adding like actual deathmatch stuff. That's soon. in. That's, that's in now. That's, that's that is in. now in. Um, that that's been in in the last in the last five days. Again, oh, sorry okay. to date the episode, but in the last week that dropped. We're going to um, probably talk about Destiny soon. We'll be recording it before Destiny comes out. Yeah, you'll be watching it true. a few days after Destiny comes out. So. True, true, true. Um, so yeah, so basically, uh, <coughs> when the event stopped, uh, it also happened that the, that competitive season stopped. Uh, up to that point, seasons go for three months. Yeah. Uh, they're now going for two months, or they're trialing a two month. So there was like it went down on the Tuesday and up again on the Thursday, and so that's when competitive and uh, also a death match and team death match got put in. I don't know how they managed to keep making new games when they're putting so much time supporting. The games that already exist, be it World of Warcraft or Overwatch or Diablo, StarCraft. How the hell do they do it? Uh, I don't know, dude. Well, a team of 10,000 people. They, look, they they are, they're still very vocal about trying to put through patches and putting that stuff in their PTR. Yeah, no, it's crazy. And, they're doing all this stuff and yet they're probably... They've currently got a complete... Already pre-pro in to whatever's next. They've, they've put through a complete overhaul of some of their characters of late. Um... Mercy, the one of the main yep. healers. Um, her ultimate ability previously was she would fly in and she could res everyone within a sort of radius. Uh, that's now going away yeah, okay. altogether. Um, she's now got it on a button ability. She can just res someone. That's got a 30-second 30, 30 cooldown. Very long. Uh, and now she basically just kind of goes into overdrive for her uh, ultimate she can just straight up fly she can heal if she heals someone it will chain to everyone within a small radius she damage boosts that also changes and she has unlimited ammo for her pistol as well so yeah right. that's handy very and it, uh, oh, quite good. it and it drops her cooldown on her res to 10 seconds so a third okay and it refreshes it <coughs> so you could res pop your ult then immediately again res and then wait 10 seconds and go again Oh, awesome. Yeah, uh, and then like you mentioned, there's a new map that's set in Australia called Junker Town, because um, basically whenever there's a futury anything, Australia is Mad Max. Yeah. Um, so and it is very much a Mad Max. Good. Level. Um, yeah. So yes, yeah, lots of still lots of stuff, uh, and this is kind of because they kind of have an event for basically every holiday season. Uh, or at least they have so far. Um, they've only had one recurrence so far, which was the Summer Games. We've got Halloween. And it'll just be because they've had two opportunities. Winter, which is so far. Christmas. They did a Chinese New one, New Year one last year, and then a few sort of law-based ones, like yeah. Uprising and Anniversary, they did. So, yeah, there's quite a few coming, uh, plus also BlizzCon's in, what, November. So so there we go. There's That's where I'll announce what they're working on. Yeah, next and... Like, that's in new projects. They're kind of teasing stuff for at least for overwatch constantly oh, that's right i forget yeah, yeah, this con basically rolls very close to, to PAX psx Australia. and pax and all that yeah so it's um yeah they're, they're constantly teasing stuff blizzard blizzard knows how to keep their fan base interested yeah um, well no they're not treating them mean but they're certainly keeping them keen well it's drip feeding it's yeah uh, and they they do stuff like aigs and things like that where it's like they'll they'll tease and taunt and have like in-game stuff where it's like like a destructible newspaper or something that'll yeah. spawn in a map will have a news article that will change like the texture on it will change from you know so and, and people will find that shit and Pick the speculate paper. and data mine and do all sorts of shit that people do these days and yeah like it's like a lot of it's probably very deliberate so yeah you know, like people will data mine Sweet. voice lines to call whether the summer event was happening like months before it happened and stuff like that. So, yeah, very, very interesting. Um, and it's, yeah, look, it's for me, it's just still a lot of fun. Uh, they just recently buffed Junkrat, so yeah. And yeah, he's one of your go tos. He's, he's, yeah, he's one of my go tos. Um, all right. Australia. Yeah. 
<laughs> and because he's a really good character. Even he's, though, he's from what little I've played, even I know that. Yeah. Um, so as for what as to what I've played this month, I'm not going to bombard you with Pokemon Go stuff like I normally do. There's more legendaries. Cool. Moving on. Um, I went through Uncharted, uh, Lost Legacy. That I've got a review up on the website, so go check that one out. I won't talk to it in great depth just because the review is there. But it's, do you think it stands to the rest of them? Uh, I've been working out how, like a little pecking order, my own okay. one. Uh, Stephen from the website asked me one day when I was heading back from the the Player Two Marathon, just as I was leaving, basically what uh, where it sat in my pecking order, and that basically had my mind busy for the majority of my. Seven is it out, better than Uncharted out. One? Yes. Is it better than Uncharted Three? Given that's the pinnacle of the franchise, in my mind. Uh, no. Oh, okay. I thought Uncharted no. Two was. No, I've got in my mind. Oh, okay. I've got three, two, four. Um, I'm going to argue about Golden Abyss, which was the Vita game, and Lost Legacy, and then one at the bottom. Yeah, right. And if okay. you want to count that stupid bullshit card game, Five for Fortune, then sure, that's at the very bottom. You mean Gwen? No, Gwen's <laughs> awesome. Um, so, it's good. It's still, like, it's a bit like, um, it's, it's one of those cases. A, a poor Uncharted game is still better than the majority of games that come out in my mind. Um, I just wouldn't quite go as far as calling it poor. There's just not much new about it. And I guess that maybe what you expect when the game was originally meant to be DLC for Uncharted 4 in the first place. So, just to ask, is it <coughs> is it Blood Dragon-esque in that it's like a standalone but it's a mini yeah. thing using the same engine? It just doesn't do anything outlandish like Blood Dragon, but yeah. Okay, so then it's um, I think it is, yeah, like a Old Blood. Yeah, Wolf, Wolfenstein yeah, Old Blood, but good because the Old Blood's not. I still haven't gone back and played the New Order purely because I played the Old Blood and was just like, this is the worst thing ever. <laughs> the New Order's fantastic. I should, yeah, but should, uh, pro- I should probably. As for what else I've played, I played Hellblade. Oh yes, um, which I'm a big fan of what uh, Team Ninja have done in the past with DMC was divisive, uh, divisive but divisive, I quite enjoy. I think is the right. Yeah, it works both divisive. ways. Divisive, but sure. Um, we've we've had we've speaking, had this in the speaking past. Speaking of Nazis, <laughs> uh, I've been like I always enjoy my Telltale games, so I've been playing the new season of Batman. The first episode's come out for that, and I recently played the third episode of Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy. Galaxy. Batman is the one I'll focus on. They do incredible things with that franchise. Because I've heard Guardians of the Galaxy is rough. No, it's it's all right. It's not. It's certainly not up there with their best, but it's okay. It's it's decent. I still enjoy so myself. So you popping some trophies on it? Yeah. They're all little tape decks. Yeah, they like yeah, they kind of yeah, they're, they're doing good things with it, but it's not yeah, it's not the best. But it's not Telltale's done. Yeah, right. Um, I get Batman that. though. I'm people were real harsh. I thought on on Batman in the first season. Um, What's well, that? With Batman, the second one now. Sure. Okay. Um, and they've only had the first episode. They went real hard at it because, and I think largely because the fifth episode, and they deservedly needed a clip for it. There was a lot of performance issues in the last, okay. specifically in the last episode. Sure. Um, so there wasn't anything. Characters wrong you with were supposed to be engaging in a fight with were invisible. Oh. Um. So, and obviously it's Telltale, so it's all scripted. So it's not like you're trying to look around for a character that you can't see. Like. Right. The prompt is there, but I'm punching thin air in the face. Sure. Um, okay. Which wasn't great. I mean, he's Batman, so he can do anything. Yeah. Um, right. but of what, course, he's still going to slog him in the chin. That's, yeah. What I do appreciate about what Telltale's doing is it seems like DC have given them full scope to do whatever they want with it. I'm not going to spoil anything because I don't know. I mean, I don't know whether you... I know you're not a big Telltale I won't, fan but they fan. might. Um, but they are more than willing to kill off characters that you know very, Recognize. very well sure. from the Batman films or comics or whatever. There was one big death in the first episode for this season that I won't spoil, but... I would never spoilers. Have thought, someone dies. I would never have thought they'd go there. Okay. Um. But that character's dead. And I, I suppose it could be a comic thing where maybe this person's not dead in some miracle, but I doubt it. Was it? So it was. No, I don't want to. I don't want to ask any specifics around it. But was it? So I, again, because I don't explodes in their face. No, no, no. Hang on. I'm not. No, hang on. I don't want context. What I'm looking at is. Because I, I really don't know about a lot of some of the Telltale stuff. Yeah. Does Batman have decisions stuff yep. in it? Is it possible that this was a that result was of some of your... That was... Is it possible this was a result of one of your decisions? 
Uh, could have been without having gone back and replayed it. Okay. It could, yeah, it could possibly. Have Does been. season one link over I to actually, season two? Yeah. Okay. So is it possible that some decisions? Though, that you've though, made mine, and... though mine, there was some weird problem that I was having with the PS4 there where. Uh, slash my Telltale account where for some reason my season one stuff didn't transfer across so I had to go through the beginning uh, where I was did you do this or this this or this this or this mm-hmm. put them all in and then went for it okay so, but, versus, but is it, versus them giving me predetermined is it default. possible because I, I don't know how, how much license they've but got no, that, or any, how, how much anything from the first season wouldn't have affected this particular okay that's fine uh, and look I don't, again like I said I don't want any context yeah. just for anyone that's watching but because uh, I don't I don't know how why did they've got their spectrum now of how much you're choice? Because I know that with some of the Walking Dead stuff, it was kind of like, oh, your choices span out this way, and then but then they converge again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know if it's still that way with the Telltale stuff, because I, I like the only thing I'm genuinely curious about is if this event that you're talking about was as a result of your decisions. Because if it is, that's really fucking yeah, cool. If it's not, be something where I sure I won't know, and, and I, I'm not the sort to replay episodes at least until the season's over. Fair um, enough. Like, That's I'll fine. leave my decision as my decision because yeah. then I just get messed up in my head as to what I've done and what I have. Yep. That no, you know, you're right. You're right. Um, I just, but I, but I did find, like, to your point about, say, The Walking Dead, like, season two, I finished, and bad luck, you've had plenty of years for this one. Uh, season two, there was a decision at the end. You don't follow. Uh, Clementine, she could or couldn't have the baby. She might or mightn't be with other people. And when I first played, she rocked up completely on her own and she just got led into this base and that was it no baby no anyone with her mm-hmm. but then the second one uh, when I played it and I replayed it just before the third season began because I played one and two on PS3 mm-hmm. and I wanted to do everything from scratch so I did season one I did season two season two I finished with her rocking up Kenny was with her but then he wasn't allowed in um, I had the baby the baby was allowed in there was uh, like there was a whole bunch of stuff that just didn't happen before and then those there, there was clear consequence to what happened in season two that had a, had an effect in season three in terms of what Clem had been through in the meantime. So, I think there's a like we've probably and probably it doesn't necessarily show until you play whatever the next season is. But it seems like they're maybe doing a little bit more than we've given them credit for in the past. Okay, I don't think that's the case though in this particular Batman. Okay, that's fine. That's moment. sure. Um, it was it was very self contained to this season. Okay, yeah, sure. But maybe some of my decisions in that episode influence it I mean know. look maybe it's that'd be cool maybe it's whose face the bomb was in was as, as a result yeah, of one yeah, of your yeah potentially and it was in Batman's face and it blew up and he's dead the end of the season real early yeah well I mean it's a thanks quick, for buying the season pass a quick we've one. killed off the main character yeah. uh, that, time, the time, end time to go to the but pub thanks for your money <laughs> time to um, go to the pub uh, I've played a couple of little bits and pieces. I've been playing Matterfall, which I won't talk about too long. Just because... state, you, you were joking. Like, yeah. it, no, no, it, no it, Batman's it, alive. Um, ne- uh, Assumedly, depending it's on what you've chosen. Not, it's not Next Machina. It's not nearly that good. Yeah, um, that's that's a shame because I got those yeah, two got mixed those up. Yeah, those mixed up with your draft picks. Yep. Don't uh, I look like a royal fucking spastic? And then the last game I'll talk about, and it's only been out for a few days, but I've been playing a bit of it. Needhog 2. Mario and Rabbids. By the way, we should play some Nidhogg. Which is too. really cool. But this one? Yeah. Or Nidhogg 2? Yeah. Both? I haven't played Nidhogg. You've never played Nidhogg at all? Ever? No. But Mario vs. Rabbids is You and really, I need to have some words after this. Is really, really cool. Yeah, um, right. We've Tell spoken me about, about this in Roomba. previous episodes. Hey? Tell me about the Roomba. Why? Why is there a Roomba? Yeah, that I don't know. Okay. <laughs> and, and it is, How annoying. Far in it, it is annoying for some handling. There's four worlds. I finished the first, the first one last night. Oh, I hear that's when stuff opens up. Yeah, so I'm, expect- I'm expecting to the skill more tree yet? things. Oh yeah, no, I've had the skill tree for a little while. Okay, because um, they open that fairly late, from what I've been told. Like it's no, like it's it, when I say fairly late, it's like <coughs> it's a, a four world game, and you're getting it towards the end of the first world. Like that's I'd say about halfway through the first. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, it's, I don't even, think it's quite as late as maybe what you heard it might be. Even still, that's and that's probably an hour for a skill ish, tree. That's an hour ish in. Like, if you're getting skill points for beating chapters, that's kind yeah. of, that's a long way in to be... Well, oh, you, by you the way... You wouldn't have been able to commit any points to anything at that point anyway. That's so. what I mean. Like, it's, it's, like, if Borderlands was like, okay, you can have your action skill now, but we're not going to let you start putting your skill tree in until, a th- like, but almost a quarter of the way through the game, or an eighth of the way through the game, yeah. you'd be like, hang on. <laughs> um, what? So I see this, like, I'm enjoying it. Mm. But with Destiny coming up, are you going to be getting it? You asked me before Maybe. we started recording. Maybe. I assume I'll be playing I'm, a bunch of the players. I'm not going to get it at launch, um, purely because 
fuck, there was a lot of grinding and resources and bullshit yeah. in Destiny 1. And I'm I hopeful s- that's fixed this time. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm hopeful. Wait and see. But I'm, yeah, I'm playing the, oh, let's wait until reviewers have got it in their hands and say, and you can take this is full of the same yeah. bullshit. And I get to go, no, nope, or yeah. on the or, flip side. Or jump on board. Yeah. yeah. I mean, um, the, we still know nothing about Borderlands 3, so I need something that's looty and shooty. I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying the game, but I think it, with the games that are now starting to roll out, mm. this is going to become a travel game, like if I'm on a train or a plane or whatever. Again, from what I've heard, and, um, um, it's best that it's, be, it's better that way. Yeah. Because if you, like it might get a little boring if you try and cluster it all yeah. together because there is a lot of the same stuff going on. Yeah, look, I'd, I'd be okay with even knocking through a chapter a week, which might take me two hours a week. Sure. So maybe three per week I don't know because it's, it's we'll a, the way that it's broken up into is it um, which I'm, I'm not sure if we mentioned already is you've got fights multiple fights in a chapter and then multiple chapters in a world yes so when you start a new chapter <coughs> your life doesn't you don't regain life or anything like that you can find mushrooms in the world or you can use your healing spells yeah. in combat uh, but if, other than if that, you're you especially kinda... good you do get rewarded with it from time to time oh really healthcare. okay um, but, but for the most part like if you yeah. take damage in a fight it, you will not recover it yeah. before the next fight. It recovers at the end of each chapter, and there is a set, a set amount of chapters per world. Yeah. There's a right. few reviewers I've been following that have been uh, really struggling a little bit with the game. Finding to it too th- tough. Yeah. To this point, I've I've had some close shaves, but I've not died in any, any big encounter yet. And when I've you done, say died, do you mean you haven't lost a like character? Like, game over. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, right. I've, lost, I've lost a character. Um, oh no, but what about your perfects? Yeah, I know. Well, I'll go back now that I've leveled up. I'll go back and I'll redo some of those. The sure. the first mid boss, which was against a rabid cross piranha, like Petey Piranha sort of thing. Oh yeah, no shit. Um, he got a hold of me the first time, and I survived with just Mario alive at the end. That's how it should be. Yeah. Um, but then by the time I got to the end of world boss, which was against a Donkey Kong, you would have seen it from this yeah, from the, the trailer, the, from the demos trailer. and trailers, yeah. Um, I haven't seen it in game, but I've, I've seen the. I took him on. And I I had all of them alive at the end. Okay. Um, I had to. I had to learn. Who are you rolling with? Because you can roll with. I've got Mario, three? Luigi, and then I've got Rabbit Peach at the moment. I've got the option to bring in Rabbit Luigi as well, but uh, Rabbit Peach right. has got just the right skills for me at the moment. She can kind of. She's kind of like a deer, like an area healer. Can be, and she's also been quite handy. One of the skills I've popped in is because you can, when you're moving them around in your very XCOM sort of mm-hmm. style, um, they can run through, like, slide straight under, kick someone. Oh, she's got the double HP, slide. And then, yeah, so I've gone and used that. So she's boom, boom, and then duck back behind cover and then shoot. So I'm, I'm getting. You know, I like I like the little. And both Mario and Luigi have got a. I don't know, what would you, what would you call it? Um, there's like not your turn then the enemy decides they want to move and then you quickly line do you them know up. what do you know what it's actually called no i don't know what it's actually it's called. it's called overwatch cool there you go <laughs> no uh, joke but like no actually, it's, no they didn't mention it yet. it's it's where you put them into like a state where if someone moves and they're within line of sight they will pop yeah they'll fire so, at them that when, that the term is actually called when, when i combine like when i find myself against a tough a particularly tough enemy if I use Mario's attack, Luigi's attack, I do that with Peach and a little slide, then mm-hmm. then get behind cover and shoot as well. And then for both Mario and Luigi, I activate their Overwatch ability. Which that, I that, like. I like for Luigi. Enemy. Luigi's one's called Steely Stare. Yeah. Which is, like, considering the Mario Kart stuff, yeah. is... Um, he does dab in the game, though. I haven't gotten to that point. I'm yet, okay with I, that. I was disgusted when I saw nah, that. But I, I, I hasn't Luigi, Luigi strikes me as the kind of person that he would, would dab. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh no! Like yeah, I, I bet that. And there's our. There you go. Viewership gone. No. Uh, or or recovered. <laughs> yeah. Or, or the other. Um. So yeah, look, I, I'm really happy with how it's going so far, <laughs> but it is the sort of thing where I'll probably just take put the foot on the gas a little bit and maybe Breaks. just little bite-sized chunks. Gas. Yeah. Just yeah if I try and get through a chapter a week, I'll be happy. If I'm done with this game in a month, which. Oh, so I'm, you, I'm you... entering a busy month, but. Uh, were you planning on playing it slower then? Yeah, I'll just I'll break it into little pieces from here and just finish the game off. That right, way. that'd be yeah, foot on the brakes. So sure, we'll see where um, that goes. Um, yeah, but with I, Destiny and a few other like we've got towards the end of the month, Cuphead, and there's a few others that are coming. Cuphead, uh, oh, mate, like I saw some gameplay of that. There's just enough coming along now. Admittedly, mm. those two are probably the only ones that spring to mind. I think 
Matt hasn't hit me up whether he wants me to do an NBA 2K review yet. I got, I'm probably but, uh, going to fall down we'll the Kiwami hole at some point. Oh yeah, well yeah, that's that's out. But yeah, you'll jump on that. I mean, yeah. Um, no, for the most only, part, it's still been a quietish month because I think because I think everyone's getting away from Destiny. Yeah. But, uh, oh, September looks like there was a lot of uh, digital games that came out this past week because you wouldn't want to come out in the same week as Destiny. Yeah. Though Knack is our saviour. I mean, um, we'll move on. We don't need to talk about Knack too much. Uh, we need to I talk about Knack too much. Too much. No, we need to talk about yeah. Knack too much. Yeah. Uh, so what you saying? Otherwise, is there anything else I, you expect you to be saying. playing over the course of this month? Um, so Yakuza. Maybe I've got to finish Zero. Um, I kind of got to a point where uh, that I do in a lot of games that I really, really, really like, where I'm like, I don't want this game to end, so I'm going to slow down with how much yeah, I'm playing, and I then I out. and then I end up stopping, which is really bad. I did the same thing with Metal Gear Solid as well. I still haven't finished that. Um, so I should probably clean house. Um, probably a lot more Overwatch, I guess, because, you know, it's just very easy. And um, you were talking about maybe playing some Dark Souls. Yeah, I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it. Um, though, <coughs> I might also steal your copy of Neo. <laughs> yeah, cool. That's fine. Uh, it's I, sitting in that pile somewhere. I, have you even got to that yet? No, I won't. And I won't get to it anytime soon, I don't think. Yeah. Not with the stuff that's now beginning to come. Yeah, I'll probably yeah. I, think I can have it, it. I can have it back to you by summer. <laughs> yeah, and then I might maybe but probably even, not yeah. be ready for it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I might might, might also see if have you got your copy of Ratchet and Clank back yet? No, nah, I don't even know if Damo started it yet. Yeah. Well, there you go. Thanks, mate. If you're watching. Yeah. Um. um look, I'll, I'll play a bit of Destiny. Um, Cuphead, I'll certainly give a crack. I yes. I don't. Think there's much. I might still does, have some time to work. Cuphead through. only local co-op, or is it online? Yeah, I think I think it's only local, okay. just because e- every latency. Like that, yeah. yeah. Um, Fair enough. But then I might still be able to work through a few more games in that pile. So we'll see how we go. See if we can have some Mugman shit going on. Yeah. Next time I come over. Yeah, for sure. Mm. But yeah, look, it's starting to get to that time of year, you know, where shit starts to look, speed I've- up again. We won't go into it too much, but there's been a there's been a fair few people who've been like, oh, look at all this. There's all these games coming out, I'm like, oh, not not necessarily games that are really tickling my fancy. Like I'll pick up. There, there's one busy day for me that I can see, and that's going to be October 27th when Mario, Assassin's Creed, and Wolfenstein all come out. Mm. Um, and I'm interested in all three of those. Beyond that, Call of Duty. Nah. <laughs> uh, Marvel vs. There's, Capcom. There's a chance with the fact that the World War Two setting looks pretty cool and they're doing some cool stuff with it, but I, heard, I wouldn't be getting it day and I've day. heard from the beta, it's not the most amazing thing they've ever put. That's out. multiplayer though, and I couldn't care less about multiplayer. So. True. Um, if the campaign's cool, maybe I'll. Oh it. yeah, but I that's right. Someone. In the last month, I started and finished Titanfall Two. Oh good. Yes. Awesome campaign, though, right? It was a very good campaign. It was very good. There were there were some fucking moments in that campaign. Were there some moments? Whew. That game is really good. Yeah. Um, and then I'm and I'm like, yeah, this game's great. And then I jumped online and I played a couple matches. I'm like, I'm never playing this again because <laughs> it's like those every- who are still playing are really really good. Yes, they are, and they have way better shit than I do. Yeah. And but to its credit. Like, I've waited longer for a game of Overwatch than I have for a game of Titanfall. Yeah. Um, which, considering it's not exactly a game that people are still talking about a lot, is to its credit. Um, but It doesn't surprise me that you dropped Titanfall. I saw a stat come out in the last 24 hours or so that basically 90% of people who, if they jump into a multiplayer game for their first time, whatever the game happens to be, let's say Titanfall, uh, if they don't get a kill in that first game, 90% of them will not replay Oh, I in their first match. I, I made like top on my team. My team got completely butt fucked, but yeah. I, I did fine. Yeah, well, it so was there's, there's a, yeah a stat about yeah ninety percent that don't get a kill. It's just like, yeah, like there's <coughs> there's just like I'm not. I know that I'm not that good at first person shooters. Like yeah. I'm like w- with that kind of first person shooter, where it's like twitch aiming and fucking like brat in the face. That's it. You're dead. No. Fair enough. I, I will never be good at those sorts of games. Like, shit like Doom and Borderlands and stuff like that, where it's, like, there's all this other stuff. Even even Overwatch. I, I'm, not, I'm not amazing at Overwatch, but, like, I can play, like, Disruption 
whereas I don't where I don't necessarily need to be you know full 360 no scope hitting people in the face 10 times out of 10 um, I'm better at one time out of 10 um, which is that's that's more where I'm at yeah um, so that's you know so it was it was mostly more that like I know where the player base is at I know that anyone that's still playing that is well and truly that kind of a gamer and I'm just not that yeah fair enough but um, I mean yeah look all, all of the game maybe parts of listening, it as far as the yeah, maybe. Is concerned. maybe we'll see what happens maybe I, I everyone will know by this date Jay will probably know whether he's buying the game by the time you're watching this perhaps yeah um, I did play a bunch of the Destiny 1 multiplayer stuff and it was it was very similar stuff where it's and I, I think that's it's the case with all sorts of deathmatch stuff where it's run around the corner kill someone or get killed like it's it's that and it's you know it is what it is um so I don't know, we'll see we'll see what happens yeah um but maybe we can take something the end of year anyway regardless of your taste so look forward to it yeah that wraps up another episode of patch though uh paul james p2 on twitter player 2 au on twitter make sure to visit the website uh player 2.net.au uh for all the awesome written content heaps of reviews and stuff possibly some destiny related stuff by now mm-hmm. uh like share and subscribe to the channel you can catch up with weekly episodes of patch the games club the insider player two plays a whole bunch of other bits and pieces we've got some shit going on there's there's a fair bit there going now it's and we've had some nice growth um over the course of the year so wink wink jo- join the growing community it's great uh but other than that that's another episode so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you later i also will see you later